She initiated it. I don't care. You knew you didn't want to see her again, and she just been held up with a gun. She initiated it. I don't care. That was selfish and sleazy. Oh, and she grabbed me like this. She was like, I need this. You kicked her out of bed afterwards. Come on, Estelle, you're better than we did it. I got a sleep disorder. No, Max. You have an intimacy issue that you pay a doctor to call a sleep disorder. Are you a doctor? Have you seen my sleep study? Fuck your sleep study! Having sex and leaping or kicking out, that's degrading. You need to get some sleeping pills. You think I haven't tried that already? But give me a hangover. Love, Max, is worth a hangover. Do you understand the pressures of my job? I mean, I'm not some breach the poet secretary boy like Andrew. I control people's money, and I can't be off my game. So your clients matter and your women don't? If you're asking, will I jeopardize people's life savings because women need a cuddle? The answer is no. Call Becky Shaw. Call her now. No. It's one phone call. Why? Why? Because that's my fucking choice. It's like you married Andrew. Parents don't have to agree with each other's choices, but they do have to respect them. Okay. Let's just do this. You're mad at me for marrying Andrew, and I don't understand why. I'm not angry. I just think you should have consulted me before you, flew to, before you flew to Vegas and married your ski buddy. Wow. You really are angry. Is it... Is it because we slept together that one time? Well... I knew it. You can't say sex won't change anything, because it always does. Not always. You know a person for 25 years. Yes. You told me it wouldn't change anything. Sex makes me territorial. Again, it's not rational. Let's just call it what it is, okay? We open the door. After two decades, we open the door and neither of us walk through it. Well, I turned around. You had a fucking husband in the doorway. That was months later. You were dating Krista before I... Come on, what that we did, I mean... Were you waiting for me to walk through that door? Jesus, Susan, this isn't Jane Austen's England. You could have walked through it too. Right. We both could have done it and neither of us did, so... There's our answer. Okay. There's our answer. We love each other, but not in the way Andrew and I. Fuck Andrew! Are you trying to torpedo my marriage? Because if you are, Max, please, stop! Jesus, Susie. You let a crazy woman into your life. You let her into mine. How have I become a bad guy? Because you won't help me. That's what loving someone is, Max. It's doing things you don't want to do. It's staying in bed all night. It's listening when you can't help. And right now, too late! suicide chick you married her. He hears, oh, I want to hurt myself like a fucking mani call. No. Yes. Just make her go away. 